Hey friends, today I'm taking you through what a day looks like at the end of the school year teaching second grade. So in the morning, I project my planner so that students can see and copy it on their planner. Then I also write the daily schedule on the board so that students know exactly what we'll be doing for the day. Then when they come in, they're going to see a summer word search on their desk. Later on, we're also going to do an end of the year survey. I kind of fill it out to give an example for the kids. Oh, is that my end of the year gift? Yes. Thank you. So I just dropped off the kids to specials. They have PE and the last three days of school is early release day. So I took down some of the posters I had posted on the walls. Also, I started putting away my uh, personal children's books. So that shelf right there is empty. And my math rotation, I went ahead and also put away the names. The wow work is empty also. I sent all of their uh, graded work home. Most of my board is empty, except for a little bit for our schedule. Daily schedule, lunch cards, yep. Delivery, what kind of pizza is it? Um, pepperoni and cheese. So our second grade team has some funds that we are using for the pizza party for end of the year. And we got two boxes of pepperoni and two, three boxes of pizza. And when we get back to class, we're just gonna have pizza. So it's at the end of the day, the children really enjoyed the pizza and we also watched Toy Story while they enjoyed their party food and I also opened the gift bag that one of my students brought for me. It says thank you and had a rainbow on this card. You are nice, smart, funny, cool, but most of all you are a great teacher. And her mom said something over here, very, very sweet. It says um, down here on the bottom, you truly rock. I hope your future teachers are just like you. So that really made my day. Thank you guys so much for watching a glimpse of a day in the life of a second grade teacher at the end of the school year. Please click like and subscribe. And until next time, have courage and be kind.